Hey guys, how you doing? JP Sari Kolia here. Now, XM Studios has finally released its first alien statue. And I'm telling you, it's exciting to see a new company produce something that many companies have done over the years and a lot of great companies out there. Uh, but I do believe that XM Studios is capable enough to really give us some of the best of the best. So we're going to look at that today. Now, the, for this, uh, the retail price in Singapore dollars is $2,299. It's not cheap at all, but have never seen an alien statue that is cheap. So keep that in mind. The prestige price, of course, you get a 10% discount. is $2,069.10 Singapore dollars. Uh, this is only available in uh, Southeast Asia and Indonesia, Malaysia, Philippines, Singapore, and Thailand. Uh, the edition size is only 490 nine pieces is extremely extremely limited they do have an official list of retailers in those countries uh, xm studios is excited to present alien hive warrior an original take on the xenomorph xm worked closely with simon lee aka spider zero world-renowned sculptor concept designer and character artist to co-create the concept design of alien hive warrior uh, drawing inspiration from the original creation this alien concept brings to life the dark elegance biomechanical flow and visceral quality of the xenomorph uh, the alien hive warrior emerges from the hive enveloped at the base by a pulsing hive entrance pregnant with various stages of the xenomorph life cycle eggs and stages of ripness, uh, freshly hatched uh, face huggers, uh, crawling with single-minded focus. It moves steady and silent, uh, displaying an alien flow and dynamism to its movement. Now, the pre-order is already open, uh, but if you do this, you pre-order before the 13th of February at noon, you will receive a collectible display plaque of the featured character as your early bird pre-order gift. Alien High War Premium Collectible Statue Features Two portraits, that's good, switch outs. Uh, one featuring the transparent dome-shaped skull, and one featuring a rich textured skull. Uh, paint application allows eggs to glow faintly in the dark, that's good, that's cool. Crafted in cold cast porcelain, it's individually hand-painted with high quality finish. And again, the edition size, it's the max is 499 pieces. Artists, we have Simon Lee, Spider Zero, concept sculptor. Emilker Fong is the 2D and 3D sculptor. The XM Studios design and development team is involved in the whole process. And of course, it's a prototype that has been shown. Now, the product dimensions here. The product size, length, breadth, which is the width and the height. You're looking at 37 by 37 by 78 centimeters. So this is pretty, it's not as, I would say, as wide, but it is definitely tall. All right, now we're looking at the pictures. And I forgot to mention this, but this is a one-third scale uh, a statue which is good for those want their collectors um i'm telling you i love the concept it's good it's not a huge base it's not too wide to the point where it's going to be uncomfortable to display that you're going to have a hard time trying to find the perfect place this is a perfect statue for a corner for a you know limited stand anything it's good uh, so i like that it's not that bad you see all these eggs, you know, hatching, all these uh, face huggers, all these crawlies all over the place. I love that detail, all the crawlies here. Dioramas created by Prime One Studio, and I talk about them in this channel. Those are terrific. I love those dioramas. They're terrific. Non-scale, of course, that's how they, they promote it, but they do have a scale. It's just they're not going to tell you what it is. Um, but I like those. I love the bases. And I would say in that end, I do feel that those bases are better than this base. But I do love how the concept of this, the simplicity in comparison to that, those bases, I like that even more. They have a lot of metallic parts because you are in a ship. So they represent all of those aspects from the Alien movies. Here you don't get to see much of that. All you see is the eggs. And this is a hive. So that's what they represent here. And that's cool. You know, I do like it. The paint job is good, uh, although, you know, he looks kind of like a cockroach for some reason. And you can see on the paint, uh, which technically that's what they are. And the mug gives us uh, an idea uh, and reference of the scale. The mug looks really small in comparison. Now, here you have the dimensions. Again, it's 78 centimeters in height, which it makes it really tall in comparison. Uh, it's not as wide, uh, 37 centimeters uh, and 37 centimeters on the breadth, the width. Uh, so it's not as wide. That's good. Um, now, the only thing that I notice here that might be a mistake, a typo, it says 12 kilograms on the weight. 
but on the description it says that it weights 20 kilograms so i don't know which one is the right one i don't know if this is wrong and they need to fix that or is actually the other one that is wrong if it's only 12 kilograms it, it has weight but it's not as heavy so um not enough uh so i'm guessing that this is wrong um that's just an you know an estimation here here we have the different portraits you got the additional head i like this one really do in comparison to this one with the open thing i wish you could actually remove this the in this case the little mouth that comes out from his mouth the little thing there the tentacle thing i wish you could remove that one that tongue has always been crazy but it would be nice if you only can see this um but it doesn't seem to be removable that's the only thing that i it looks kind of weird maybe it's the paint job maybe the way he opens his mouth that's the only thing that i might complain in this sculpt right there and the difference in color but all the crawlies there all those face huggers everywhere they look like tarantulas scorpions it looks good i like that i like the eggs yeah but that's the thing that i, I do i think that the prime one uh dioramas are better because you can see even slime i i feel that it feels more premium in comparison to what they offer in here but yeah you don't see it here just the pain everywhere and the hives and there's no metal parts of so this is on a hive this is on a planet not necessarily on a ship um that's the only thing i feel that on that prime one studio did a better job in capturing some of that essence i like the concept though uh i think the stand is, is good i like that stand i think it's going to display at different angles really really good yeah again i wish you could remove this that's it you know just so you can change the display from time to time because i do like this this head there you can see that it's cool though very nice pose very nice yeah the detail there as well well done from this angle from this angle there are a lot of pictures that's good i like that now we see an up close image that tongue <laughs> scary for sure yeah, he looks like a roach. Now with the different head. This is my favorite head, actually. I like the other one, but I like the paint job on this one. Uh, very good. I, I, I love some of those buzz that we have in the past from many other companies. Companies like Hollywood Collectibles. I think Saisha also did some. I love that it was so translucent. That you can see that. You know, you can see like it, it, there were see-through. I love that. Um, this one may not have the same appeal or the same touch. It seems that it's more like the pain, but it does look very good. I think they did a pretty good job, and they added some type of coating on top of it. It gives an idea that it's something very translucent. And in reality, it looks like an insectoid, a parasoid creature, alien. It's really good. Yeah, like that. I, I think I, I'm liking the base more and more. I'm still a fan of those uh, by Prime One. I'm going to mention this a lot in this video. I love those bases. But I think this one is growing on me. And I think that the best thing about this one is all the different face huggers, all these crawlies. This is a hive and it represents the hive for sure really, really well. So I think on that, it, it, there is a plus on this. Look at that. Very cool. Like that. Oh, yeah. Very, very good. There's some damage too to the head right there. Really good. They did a good job with the paint. Whoever was the painter did a terrific job with it. Look at that. A lot of detail. Those coming out. Yeah, it needs some slime to make it look even better. I just feel that some slime around this creature we have added an extra touch of realism. Um, but beyond that, I think they did a good job with the paint. Really good. Oh, wow. Really cool. Now, if you're interested in this, but you don't live in Southeast Asia, there are ways that you can do this. You can go through Spec Fiction. Spec Fiction is a company that I'm always going to recommend because of the great service they provide and because they, they ship anywhere. So uh, it's good. Um, and definitely it's a way for you. And I, there are a lot of fans in this in this country, here in North America, a lot of fans of this franchise. So yeah, I know a lot of people are going to go directly through them. But look at this. Yeah, I love the details there. Yeah, a lot of detail. Now we can see in the dark, you can see they're a bit translucent. Uh, that's good there's some you know some color in there that's good 
But yeah, it, it would have been nice if you can have the goo going all over the place and being and the goo being translucent as well. Uh, that will give it an extra touch of, you know, a realism that will make this more premium in my opinion. Yeah, I like this piece for sure. Um, I'm, I'm telling you this. Uh, I think XM has done a fantastic job. Aliens have always have a big following uh, everywhere. People love the statue, love the action figures, love the art, love the films. So I do believe that XM is really, really do doing something good here. And I do believe that they're going to have success. Now, I wish they can make this license international. So that way more people can purchase directly uh, through XM. There are a couple of things they can change to make it even more premium, uh, even better than what it is. But uh, I, make no mistake, I, I love the pose. I love the concept. I think it was well applied. It was well done. The paint job is good. Uh, I just wish there were some touches. That's it. But beyond that, it's just a great representation of this monster. And yeah, I do recommend it. So my friends, what is your opinion? What do you think about this piece? Do you like it? You don't like it? You think it's too expensive? You're uh, disappointed that it's not available in your country directly? Let me know in the comments below. So once again, my friends, thanks for watching. God bless. Take care. And I'll talk to you again. Bye-bye.